I want to show you how to import a Maven project into Eclipse. And there's a couple of different scenarios I want to use. The first one, I'm going to just import a project where the Maven palm file, you can see it right there, is right into the root of the folder. You can see I've got my rock, paper, scissors application here, and there's just one project in here, and there's the palm file. The other scenario I want to show you is working with the Spring Boot examples project. You can see I've got a number of different projects in here. The Maven palm file is not in the root of this GitHub project, but instead each one of these projects has its own Maven palm file. So I want to show you how to import these Maven projects into Eclipse using both scenarios. Now the first scenario where the palm file is right in the root of the project is this rock, paper, scissors application right here. I'm going to copy that GitHub URL and then mosey on over to Eclipse. I'm gonna close the nag screen and then I'm gonna say file, import. I'm gonna import from Git. And I'm specifically going to import from Git uh, using Smart Import. So select the project from Git with Smart Import. I'll click Next. I'll choose to clone the GitHub repository that has the Maven project in it. You'll notice that the tool is smart enough to fill in all the blanks about the GitHub URI and host and all of that other stuff. I'll click the next button and it will look for all of the different branches that I've got. You know, I only want the, the main branch or maybe the master branch as it's called right there. I'll click next. So this is what do you want to call the remote? I'll say origin. Where do you want to put this? Notice that it's going to store the project under users, owners, git, rock, paper, scissors. That's something you might want to change in the future, but I'm going to leave it there for now. That's fine with me. I'll click the next button and you'll notice it'll start to analyze that Maven project on GitHub and look to see if it can find a project. And there you go, it finds rock, paper, and scissors. I now click finish, and look at that. I now have my rock, paper, scissors, Maven project that was hosted on GitHub in my local workspace. Now, you might see over in the bottom right-hand corner a little information about it building the Maven project that was imported from GitHub, but it looks like that problem's gone away and everything is building properly, and I have to say, I'm pretty happy about that. I can now go in and start playing around with this game, writing some code, maybe even test it. Okay, so that's how you import a project that is right in the root of the GitHub directory, the palm file right in the root of the project. You can see here with the Spring Boot examples, well, I've got a bunch of different Spring Boot projects here over on GitHub. Now importing this, it's pretty similar. You just copy the GitHub URL for that GitHub repository, head over to Eclipse and then well, follow those same steps. We want to import a project. And we want to import projects from GitHub, projects from Git with Smart Import. Click the Next button. Clone the GitHub repository with the Maven projects in it. Notice it pastes in what was already copied there. Click the Next button. Pull in the data from the master branch. Now, by the way, you should be using a main branch, but this is an older project. I'll click next. Again, I'm not a big fan of putting the making the directory for the GitHub import of the Maven project into user owner, but I'm going to leave it as the default for now. You can play around with a, a preferred directory. And now you'll notice that it says, hey, there's a bunch of different projects you can bring in here. So this is a couple of these are Eclipse projects. Some of these are Maven projects. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to bring in comprehensive RPS. I'm going to bring in the Spring Boot file upload project. And I think that's about it. I'm just going to select those two of all the projects. So I'll deselect this and deselect that one as well. Then I will click Finish. And you notice that those two Maven projects, Spring Boot Maven projects, also get pulled in. In the bottom right-hand corner, you can see that 
update of the Maven project happening. So that is Maven now going to Maven Central and pulling down all of the dependent libraries that are referenced in the Maven Palm file and then doing a build of the code, making sure that everything compiles when the libraries are brought in. But now it looks like everything is getting pretty close to working. And you can see that each of these projects here has that palm file in the root. There's the palm file in the root there as well. And it looks like comprehensive RPS is taking a little while to compile. But there we go. It's all done. And there you go. That's how easy it is to import a Maven project from GitHub. And even you can see how to import a Spring Boot Maven project from GitHub as well. It's just that easy.